Previously on Horizon Zero Dawn. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. He looks just behind the background, just, ah, oh, God, wow, I'm starting to wish I didn't save this idiot. And now back to giving thanks to the all mother, ooh, Robot Giraffe! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jirabi there, you're back with some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Ah, oh, man, again, it's been a long time since I've, uh, gotten to this game. Once again, I took a long hiatus from this game, and this time, I have... Honestly, no excuse this time. I, I don't know why I stopped playing this game. Or rather, I don't remember anymore. It may be due to the fact that, like, uh, I had a job and everything, and, like, uh, that kind of, like, messed up a lot of things for, like, YouTube or something. I don't know what happened with, like, Horizon Zero Dawn. I can't explain it to you guys. But at least I'm finally back in this game. That It's gonna be a weird experience, to be honest, since, like, you know, I improved a little bit more and more and more and everything. So, yeah. In the last episode, well, uh, you know, episodes, since, like, there was more than one, like, recording session, we did a good, like, a uh, sweep around this area here. Then we went to this, like, great catch here that turns out to be a dam of sorts for, like, from, like, the old ones and such. Then we met this, like, weird person, like, I forgot his name, to be honest, like, uh, yeah, I really forgot his name. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't remember. But, yeah, he was a really talkative dude and, like, you know. And we managed to, like, uh, you know, make sure the flow of water was a like, lot better and such. And overall, yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun side quest. You know, filled with puzzles and, you know, how to get around the areas and such. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So, in this episode, I'm gonna go over to the Shaman's Path and, you know, like, meet that person that I'm supposed to meet that's gonna help me, uh... I forgot what it was. I think it was, they were supposed to help me get to the like, mountain or something. Or tell me about what's going on within the mountain. I don't know. I don't remember what the DLC plot is anymore. I just, I just know there's a mountain. It's on like fire. And like the machines are going crazy. Once a fucking again. But we have nothing to fear. Because Aloy is here. Okay, so I remember like uh, seeing a lot of like uh, data points in there. That have like uh, extra stuff in them. So let me see if I can like uh, see them again. Probably forgot where they were. I think this one. Yeah, here it is. Let me like uh, play it back again. All right, so okay, like, how do we want to start this farewell thingy? Hmm. We might be the last actual people to ever see this place. Uh, yeah. Hence, you know, songs. Yeah. Okay. Message text. Dear nobody, as far as I can tell, that's who's going to read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creepy Belvins to take measurements of our workstations. And next week, they start installing feral servitors to do our jobs. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Laura. See you never. Hope you enjoy basic income. God, it's going to be weird to say goodbye to this place. When Queen and I split, this was all I had. Thank God for a job where I could just sit at the panel and press buttons and cry all day. Which, I think is why we're doing this. Hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in a dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girl, so I was looking at the schematics of this place and I found a perfect practice space. The acoustics of this place. Seriously, bonkers. Like echoing through the entire valley kinds of bonkers. Legit, you're going to spoil yourself when you see it. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. Okay. Then there's a damn family. Ready? One, two, three, four! Caught sellouts and runaway cows! Oh, no. Cut it, cut it. I forgot the words. Dude, shells, we started off so strong and then it all just imploded. Well, that's sort of my MO. No, no. No heavy stuff. We're switching gears. Band name! We need one. Okay, now for this one. Dear Nobody, when I took this job, we had to watch this training hollow, and I remember probably 2% of the actual hollow. At some point, the hollow welcomed me to the damn family, and I felt like AJ, that was such a missed opportunity, because they could have called it Damily, and chose not to. Yeah, I get it, Damily? Oh my god, did I write this? And BJ, the idea that I would ever think of any of my coworkers as family was pretty ridiculous. But then one day, I looked up, and, and, automation, I think you mean Anne, 
An automation had whittled six people down to just Laura and I, and I was signing papers to dissolve the family I thought I had. And suddenly, my last co-worker, with her faded tattoos and perpetually arched eyebrows, was telling me jokes and making me listen to bands I'd never heard of, and cheering me up when I cried. Things were really good when I was just the two of us. We used to have these theme days. One time, the sluice gates were open, and we set up beach blankets on one of the cape walks in the intake tower and batted around the inflated beach ball I had in my apartment for some reason. Laura messed around with the emergency PA and patched in a bunch of classical surf rock songs. We even put sunscreen on the bridges of our noses. Laura called it the concrete beach party. When Laura brought up band names, we knew pretty much right away that it would be our name, Concrete Beach Party. There was never really any other choice. Okay, so it must have been a different person that did this, right? And then this is the third one. Farewell tour. <sighs> I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Nah, shells. Farewell tour. Reunion tour in like six months. Bands do it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in hollow space. People always say that. Yeah, this is the one that was in the last area. Dear Nobody, we got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this row bar in downtown Cody, so we called an auto car and shuttled over. We were the only people there with the park closing. Cody's becoming a ghost town. The more we drank, the more passive-aggressive our banter became, snowballing out of control, metastasizing in the empty air between us. And then, before either of us really knew what was happening, we were yelling at each other. I kept thinking, like, I'm not abandoning her, she's abandoning me. And I guess she was probably thinking that something similar. Huh, when did this happen? Did it happen before, like, the machines went wild and, like, uh, everything was going to shit? Did this happen before Project Zero Dawn, like, started or after? We got quiet for a while, drank more. Eventually, Laura ordered an auto car and we piled into it, slid as far from each other on the back seat as we could, arms crossed, staring out the window. And I heard myself talking, screw it, I don't care if you stay in touch with me, I'm going to stay in touch with you. Whether you like it or not, you're not getting rid of me, ever. Laura looked at me for what felt like ages. I thought she was going to start yelling, but then her hand crept over to mine and we just sat there together. Bottoms up, Shelly. Okay. Not sure what what they were arguing about. What were they arguing about? Guess one of them were leaving and they didn't like it or something? Not too sure. Okay, so this is like a animal figurine that is here somewhere. Where is it? Where are you, little thing? Huh, what is this, like, colorful thing? Interesting. Where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Pretty hard to see with the snow and everything. Must be up there or something, is it? Can I get up there? Uh, not sure. Might be in this building here. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Come on. I know it's here. It's a boar here. It's gotta be around this area. Preferably in one of the buildings at least. Maybe it's on top of the roof. I gotta figure out a way up that roof. Maybe in this particular like a uh, hallway? Or something. Where is it? What the fuck? For the love of God, how hard can it be to find one figurine? Maybe it's not here. Come on, where is it? Where is that figurine? Now I'm leaving the area to find it. Is it on top of this, like, dam here? That has to be the case. It, like, maybe it's on the edge of the dam or something. Ugh, man. I gotta, like, figure out a way up there. We have to just jump this, like, rocks here. Nope. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, there's no machines up here. That'd be bad. Uh, 
Oh, come on, please tell me this is like a, an ammo figurine up here. Nope. Seriously, where is this thing? Pretty much like the last place I could, I, I could check. God dang it. Now I have to go back down again. Don't know how to do that though. Shit. Oh, here it is. Here's a way down. Conveniently placed here. Still, where is the animal figurine? This episode better not be spent like trying to figure out where the fuck this thing is. Cause I'd be pissed. It should be somewhere around here. Oh, is that where it is? No, it's a supply crate, damn it. But items can be up there, so maybe. Maybe somewhere around here. Do I have to go about this slowly? Seriously? Seriously? For one animal figurine? This sucks! Come on! Where is it? Can I even detect the animal figurines? Or am I. I don't know. I don't know. Am I outside the area yet? Nope. Okay. Oh, there it is! Finally! Jeez! Took me forever to find this! A figurine. He looked fierce for such a little thing. Alright, now what's, which one is this? Animal figurine. Depicts a leaf predatory animal. Inscribe two of seven in a commemorative set. C 2042 Montana Recreations. Trade at Hollow Hall. So is it, pan is it a panther? Oh no, a tiger, I think. Yeah, it's a tiger. Man, it took forever. But I finally got it. Alright, now let's head over to the Shaman's Path at long last. Then they'll see what, what the fuck's going on now. Don't remember of like I think it was like going trying to see the shaman to figure out like uh what is going on with the machines or what more about that mountain that was like uh you no know, on fire or something. Man, Robbie, you sure forgot the plot of this DLC. Sorry, Aloy, I just ha I don't know why I stopped playing this game. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. Hope you'll forgive me. No, I won't. This is the second time you've done this. I have a feeling there's gonna be enemies around. There's no way they're not going to have enemies here. There's no fucking way. What is this place? Looks like a camp of some kind. Oh yeah, they say like, something about like uh, getting a rest or something? A headrest? I think that, that other dude says something about that. I have to collect something. Can I collect this? Or, I guess not. Oh well. Wow! They said this was hard, but this is nothing so far! Just you wait, Outcast. So There's probably like a machine, like a Thunderjaw, just waiting for you at the top of this very ridge. Yeah, bring it on! I'll destroy that thing in an instant! Like with the last one? Shut up! Hey, I think it saw the, uh, the mother's heart thing. Alright, in the distance over there. Hey, Gaia! I'm still trying my best to, you know, finish this up! As you're not Gaia, technically. Oh, what is this? A lot of blue lights. I think this is a thing, I think. Nope, it isn't. Okay. I was just wondering. Or is it this thing? Not sure either. Okay. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. Find the ritual marker. Oh, I guess this is actually the shaman's this path. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Activate the ritualistic mark. Optional. Follow the shaman's path. Okay, just activate it, I guess. Okay, activate it. Oh, there it is. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Okay, well, I'm gonna go the other way then. Ooh. Way. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just exploring, okay? Because this isn't the way. 
This is not the way. Hey, Lloyd, please don't say that again. Okay, I'm sorry, Daddy. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Hope there's no, like, polar bears in here. They should be dead by now. This isn't the way out. Some gear, though. That I have five million of. This is gonna be so worth it. What can I not bring? Ah, oh, man, can't bring any more metal vessels. Oh, man, what a disaster. Okay. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. This thing? Or this thing? What are you talking about? What the fuck? I guess it's just uh, this thing here? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I, I guess it's this thing. This spinning thing. Man, man, it's getting dark. Oh, yep. what's this? Focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Okay. I'll just like use my sight instead. Not this way. I mean, there's only one direction, really, Aloy. I, just, I don't see this being a maze. Dead end. But at least there's stuff. Oh gosh, it actually is a maze. I'm pretty sure it came in this way, right? Did I? Oh, I guess it didn't. I get- wait. I thought I did. Oh, that was a secret path. What the fuck? Clever. Fucking clever. Okay, there's a rope here. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for any secret paths. There are two paths here. Another marker. Good. And then go this way. Better go back. After I grab this loot. Hey, like, do you have to say that every time you run to a dead end? I used to do, Fala! I don't know why I keep doing it, but I, I just have this feeling that I have to. Every time! It's not really productive, Aloy. Okay, that way then. What if, like, one of these is gonna lie to me or something? I have a distinct feeling. Okay, there's a wind chime. So I'm gonna go this way. I took a wrong turn. Hey, there's a wind chime. I swear to God, these like music things are really gonna get to me. Get to me sometimes. I guess it's the way. So maybe this way. Wait, back. I guess so. Back we go. That other wind chime that I obviously obviously saw. The chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. Wait, I did though. Drabby's just did something stupid. I'm sorry, okay, Eloy. I'm just like exploring. Shut up. <laughs> All right. 
right? Not this way. But then, where? Not sure, really. Is it down there? Nope. There's a wind chime. Is there like a climbing path that I didn't take? Huh. I see. Up. Up? Up there? How do we get up there? I see no way I'm gonna get up there. Guess there's like a you know climbing area that I missed. Ah, oh, there it is. How the fuck did I miss that? There's another wind trap that way, it's a marker, so go this way. Stalkers. Better be careful. Oh no. No 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 no. What the fuck? Is that even the way to go? I don't think it is. Oh boy. I have to go through this area. Okay. Through here. There he is. Can I get him from here? Would that be sweet? Oh, it's going to see me. Yeah, he's going to see me. That's not good. Not good at all. Alright, so if I remember correctly, they're like terror blasts are the way to go on these things, right? I think so. Alright, I should wait for him to come here. You probably shouldn't be able to see me. Now this stealth gear on. Oh shoot. Oh, it's two of them. Uh. Ow. Good die. Okay, got to, to, to put on everything again. I forgot how intense this, like, you know, combat system could be. I'm gonna close the base, too. Jeez. Uh. He's being a shot, right? All right, time to like stop you then. Oh no, I've got last. Dead. Hey, where is he? There you are. Ah, you're dead. Oh yeah, you're not. Now you're dead. Well, that could have gone better. I didn't know there were two of them. Oh, another stalker, really? Can I even see them? Things on the other side of the wall. We can't really see him per se. Jeez. I still have a lot of stuff here. What the fuck? 
This is just a way to like uh just get rid of all the materials I have. Okay, so how do I get get around here? I guess I gotta go through the world path again. Wait, what? Am I on the right path? I done with the cave. So what's next on this path? I guess I am. Wow, that was easy. I stumbled upon this by accident, oh, but okay. No, does this really do be a good if the path is very obvious to see? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it's just redundant. Uh, how does this bridge work? Looks like it needs to fill up with water before I can cross. Seems like it. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Around the bend we go. Oh, fool, fool. Just grab onto it, Aloy, please. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I wonder if you can grab onto things, Aloy. There we go. Then I go up this way. Now how do I cross this one? Just climb it, Aloy. What the fuck? Ah, whatever. Whatever. Down, then up? Guess so. Down it is. <laughs> That's a really complicated shaman path. There's the way up. <laughs> oh, something here? Purple. Is it purple? What is that? Pigment. Neat. Light oxide. A light colored residue formed on old world metal. A pigment used for banuk rock painting. Okay. The more neat gets. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay. The bridge is filling up. Okay, now I gotta get both. Go back over there. Yep, do. So I gotta wait for it to come back down. <sighs> Great. I didn't expect to have to do a running jump and everything. Fucking great! Platforming! How spectacular! Gotta wait. And go. <sighs> Made it. Alright, we done? We done? No, it's more bullshit to do. Great. Fucking great. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, you got, I got, okay. What the fuck? Man, I jumped really high! Did you see that, Daddy? Okay, please don't do it again, Eloy. Wow, but it was fun! Okay, anything else? Okay, seriously. How are the shamans able to do all of this? Like, really? They gotta be like, Aloy buff in order to do all Just this. A little wind. Oh! Uh, disgusting. Uh, Didn't no. think of cussing. Uh, Uh oh. There's a monster down there. Thank God I didn't see what the fuck. 
definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Yeah, it looks like the polar bear. So the polar bears really did die. And the uh, guess, I guess what was it called? What's what was that part of the guy up called again? I forgot, but yeah, they were remade into a machine, I guess. Something I can interact with. Where was that? Where was that? I, I saw something I could interact with. Oh, here it is. Onward and upward. Yeah, just like that dude in the visions and such. What a sad story. Sad story of a boy who loved his mother. Don't like the sound of that. Like the sound of what? <laughs> oh no. There's a tower here. Is that the way to go? Please do not tell me this is the way to go. I swear to God, if it is. God. Right those Fucking. Damn it. Fuck the shamans, man. Fuck the shamans. What the fuck? Did they also have to like, take care of this tower too? Is that what they gotta do? Really? We're pitching out, Caster. It's tradition. Fuck tradition. Fuck it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like the sound. Look at this. Uh oh. Whoa, boy. Gonna have trouble reaching that tower to override it. And the, the music got loud, like really loud. Kill the frost claw. Frost claw, a huge acquisition machine that circulates cryogenic fluids from its attacks and defensive capabilities. Despite its size, it is quick and deadly. Okay, so we can just get some fire, but strong as ice. Freeze sack, freeze unit, power cell, sparker. Ooh, man. Okay. I think I gotta like sneak around and try and like uh, get to that uh, tower here there. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, is there like a track for this thing? I gotta figure out how to make it like uh, go away from the tower. I need to get to it. Take this tower out. How do I get up there? I need a path up there. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Do not see me. Oh fuck. It's really patrolling that thing, like, like a mad dog. Okay, there's this a climbing area. So I just need to lure it away from the tower. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Maybe there is a way. Maybe I can, like, use a rock to, like, lure it far away from the tower and then move around. The tower. Yeah. Gotta find a way to get around the tower. Maybe it'll be attracted by this, like, rock. There we go. Come on, get up. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Ely. There we go. Alright, 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 alright. Get ready, get ready. No corruption? I don't know, that's not it. This one. Ice. Alright, alright, alright. So. Actually, no, 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 no. I, th I think it's the shield might be better. Alright. So. Fires, weakness, weakness. Just get the tears ready. We should be good to go. Now 
turning back. Okay, I guess we're doing this, big boy. All right, let's do it. Get it, get wasted. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Why are there icicles shooting off the ground? How did that make any sense? Ah, oh, now fucked. Oh, this is gonna be quite the show. Shut up, bloody! Oh fuck! See me. Stop moving around. There we go. All right, all right. Uh, the old reliable. Hold on. Let me get the old reliable. Fucking trip caster. Let's go, baby. I think the, uh... You know, maybe this might be worthless. So... Ow. Ooh. Quite the enemy here. Oh, fuck. What? All right, you hit the power cells. The power cells work against what again? That's the important part. I guess you need shock arrows. Fuck! I got rid of the one bow that allowed me to do it. All right, shock and everything. All right. Next up is the uh, the free sack or the freeze unit. Destroying this component triggers a freeze explosion. All right, got hit with like regular arrows now. Wait, can I not hit it anymore? Doing to something. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh come on, why are there ice coming out of the ground? I don't understand. How does this work? Alright, you're reliable again. Oh what the fuck? I think it was like Ow, shoot, ow. Good thing I have a shield. This would have been extremely difficult. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Next up is the, uh... There's the free sack up here. I'm not sure how to get that, though. I think it's just on his, like, shoulder? This, this thing. Alright, whew. That was got me. It would have fired this time again. What the fuck? Why'd you like follow your back? Man, his dodge ability is so great. Oh my god, he's attacking. Okay, burn. Please burn. There we go. Now die. Woo! So that was quite the machine down. Now back to finding Araya. Which means we've got to climb. Hey, did you see that, Blondie? I took this down, no problem. Shut the fuck up. You were having a lot of trouble. No, I wasn't. I 
Oh my god now! I'm ready for the sequel, whatever that game comes out! Oh man, that was actually a fun machine to fight against. Like, really fun. Really like that, like, I had to first sneak up around it and everything, and like, sail that tower. Then I had to figure out how to like, beat it, and like, you know, in a strategic way. Had to use fire arrows, hardpoint arrows, even the uh, old reliable tripcaster with tear blasts. Man. Now, if only the rest of the game was like this, that would have been great. Okay, let's keep going. I should be able to get up there. Oh, up there, okay. Man, this is quite a climb. Am I anywhere close? Yep, there's the mountain. And I almost fell to my death again for the millionth time in this game. Is there anything around this thing? I feel like there is. Won't get where I'm going this way. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, you can't go this way. I must die. This must be the shrine Nell Took was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. Yeah. I can see why it's worth a lot. Yeah, but I don't give a shit. Give me that blue gleam. Need it for my weapons. Alright, finally got here, I think. Is it think? I don't know, really. It's like a satellite tower. Went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Okay, where the are you? Door. Maybe Aurea is inside. Really? Thought this was forbidden. Oh wait, no, maybe it's by the Nora tribes. Everyone else is it's free game. Field discovery. Aurea's retreat. Alright, let's see what interesting stuff we can find here. Technically these are ruins, so. Alright, first ruin. Firebreak update. Upgrades. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Ew! Oh boy. I should just go to bed. What the fuck, ew! I don't, I don't like this dude already! So creepy! Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Not sure. Let's explore and find out. Work out. There's any machines in here. I'm gonna be mad. This is like a prime area for like a, a mob fight. I don't. I won't like that a bit. Anything here? Uh, yep. Yeah, there's something here. Yeah, something here. OMG. Belvins. Director of security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Okay. Whatever that was. I don't even think that was OMG. I think it was just Omega. The door. Again. 
Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lamb bent obicular door access. So here's the S-L-O-W version of it, again. The thingy in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yes, I know. Hard, right? Then you've got to turn the other nodes so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be too tough because, you know, they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but with this crowd, who knows? Anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the doors open. It's really not that tough, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. Jeez. This sounds like a really complicated way to do things. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Okay, but let me go the other way then. Because this is obviously the way to go. Actually, no. I think this is just a way to like uh, get past the door in another area or something. Let me see. Yeah, that's the door, alright. What a convoluted way to like open a single door. Alright, let's see what I can do with this. Override the source node. Well, that did something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? Okay. Uh, let's see. Reroute. Oh, okay, I guess it's like that uh, valve puzzle. These things turn, changing the flow of light. So, like this. Turn clockwise. And like the stats. Right. Let's see if the door's open. Oh, CC! They couldn't figure this out, really? On their own? Now I understand how the fuck they. Humans managed to get wiped out by the machines now. They're too stupid. Oh, there's something here. Supply SNAFU. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Oh my god. This time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. What's this dude's voice actor? He's like. Oh my god, man. Guys couldn't figure out such a simple thing as, like, a bunch of nodes. How can a little girl in, like, 10,000 years in the future figure it out, but you couldn't? Oh my god, I should report you to Twitter and everything. Get you cancelled. Oh my god. Alright. I, I don't know how the shop managed to get past that, but okay, whatever. Okay, up here, up here, up here, up here, or maybe not up here, okay. Guess up here, I guess, this way. Oh man, this is a steep climb. Fresh air ahead. Now I gotta go back outside again. What the fuck? Where's Rhea? Dang it! All right. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. What a convoluted area this is. Let's just like go right to Rhea. I mean, or Rhea or something. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Let's see. Maybe this way. Just jump. Please hit. Okay, thank you. Seriously, they have got to like fix the, uh, you know, the jumping across ledges in like uh, the next sequel. Because, geez, the amount of times I, like, had to, like, deal with the thought of, like, missing, uh, ledge jump. Too many times in my book. Uh, 
All right. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She better be. Now she'd have to go through a get to you. She has to be in here somewhere. Okay, what's this now? Stage two complete. To YNPF all. Date, December 23rd, 2046. Subject, first stage of main facility complete. ATTN, all staff. It's with pride that I announced the completion of the first level of infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me in CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Okay, wonder what they were doing here. Not deadly cheer. There's a door over there. Hmm. Guess it's that way. Let me go this way. I think it's something over here. Yeah, there here it is. From Kenny Chow, okay. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Menu prank? Okay. Anything else in here? I doubt it, but... Yeah, nothing else. All right, open door. Ooh, I that? ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Hello. Not intruding, am I? No prayer that will reach you. No mark that will break your bonds. Ugh. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Do you not notice me here? Oh, now you do. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I bullshitted. I have the bullshit powers. I... Plus, I'm the daughter, or technically a daughter, of one of the you know most intelligent women on Earth. The managed to stop the whole Pharaoh plague and everything. So yeah, bow. I used one of these. How'd you not notice it? I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Alright then. Yeah, anything else here? Just one. Where is it? There it is. Security measures. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Belvis installed lambent obicular technology on the lower security door, I admit that for the auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream with their credentials back to the center. Make sure to avoid the red nodes, they're used to isolate any corrupt or suspect data. I'm sure someday you'll thank Belfast for making our work so very, very secure, Kenny, and you no, know, 
inconvenient and everything. There's also something over there, too. Incom incommensurable. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. What is it? Is it? Oh, this oh, this logs to this thing too. Shit. Okay. No, nothing here. There's something here, though. Let me begin by spelling out disaster for you. A destructive event causing a level of disturbance unmanageable via the application of ordinary resources. What you have given us is distinctly ordinary. Dummies version. Give me what I need or you'll be on an autocar to lay off city quicker than you can say code red. The list one more time. 3,000 MREs, no lasagna. 30 military grade flashlights, no more junk store crap. 10 portable water pumps, not 5, not 8, 10. 50 tubes of phone decide. We're working underground, spores happen. 15 hydraulics jack. 12 replacement drone proposal units. 50 holographic micro drives. In a disaster, see definition above. It's absolutely critical to track all ingresses and egresses of the facility. I take our safety seriously, if you, even if you don't. 50 almond scented, extra soft, data corrupted. Then it's this one. Menu prank. To YNPF all. From Kenny Chow. BCC Dodd Belvins. Date December 3rd, 2046. Subject hacking of menu board. Attention all staff. Add an assembly of our country's finest scientific minds. Recruited to address a grave threat to national security. Probably the Pharaoh Plague. It would be fair to expect more mature conduct than that demonstrated yesterday in a canteen. Mr. Belvis plays a crucial role in the successful execution of Firebreak and is due the respect both of his title and of his many contributions to the project. Any further interference in the menu boards will necessitate my direct personal involvement. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. From Kenny Chow to Anita Sandoval. Date December 3rd, 2046. Subject forward, hacking of menu board. Anita, was it you? Ah, okay. Personal log. If Belvins reconfigures the pattern on the lambent orbicular door access one more time, I'm going to vomit all over. Sure, I don't want some gift shop employee rooting around in the fire rig facility, but these measures aren't about security, they're about control. I wonder if Belvins gets in early to watch everybody try to solve the new pattern. Perched over his little camera array on his big boy office. What a big troll. You'd think that a fraction of his fancy drone budget could go towards buying him some classier body spray. God help me and Kenny if he ever finds out about us. An incomprehensible personal log. I had an argument with Kenny this afternoon. When a couple's first fight hinges on the Turing Act, you know you're dealing with some real sexy nerds. I won the argument, I guess, but I'm less concerned whether or not I can pull this off than with the ethical implications of succeeding. I promised Kenny that the suite of coping mechanisms I designed will help manage any emotional fallout from the software, but privately, I'm less confident. I'm a programmer, not a shrink. The minute of robo-ethics do start to seem less relevant when refusal to supply Firebreak with the necessary conditions for its success come at a cost of millions of lives. It's worth putting one's consciousness at risk to save so many others, isn't it? Ugh, trying to solve this with numbers makes me feel like a sociopath. Okay, I'm not sure what the whole issue is, but okay. Ooh, a figurine, thank you. So which one is this? Depicts of looming impressive animals. Is this the same thing? No, looming impressive animal this time. It's a bear. A polar bear, I'm guessing, but just a bear. I don't know. It says everything in here, right? Gotta make sure. Door here too. All right, source node. This one's bigger, but I'll bet the goal's the same: get the light back to the source. Yep. So it's this way. Hmm. Could be multiple ways this time. Actually, no, no. I see. I see the uh, end way. So, let's see. Let's do this one at a time then. I have to hit all the nodes. 
I think you have to go all the way around for this one. Can't hit that area, so... It's going to be from this angle here. They can hit this node, and then this node. So let's see... There's a strategy involved with this, I just need to figure it out. I prefer like going backwards in this one. Just to see if I can figure out how to do it. So it's this way. Then it'll go over here. Then it can like uh turn this here. It'll go there. Now this one. Hmm. Can I go this way? There you go. Then we go from here, and then, hmm, yeah, okay, okay, I can, like, go, bring this here, then I can, like, uh, push this here, and then this will go, it has to go up here, then. This way. And then go here. Uh let's see. Go here. Go here. And then go here. Wow. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Unauthorized transmission return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is Orea. Is that a... Is that a... The spirit's oh. voice back. That must have been like Gaia or something. Is it... I don't think it is Gaia. Not sure who that is. Dr. Rhea. You heard it. A voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? What do you want? I'm... Man, I'm just here for the DLC! Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Thank you. Uh, so, the spirit. You seem to have a history with this voice. This spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. Wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. I see. The spirit wanted to help? What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. Okay, communion. You had a communion with the spirit. Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. 
she asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened. What's like Hades or something? I, I I see. This is similar to what like happened with Silence and Hades. Like, uh, Silence helped out Hades, I think, and then Hades asked Silence about the culture of the people around. So this must be a, like a, a part of like Gaia or something. Some part of her. Like she had like multiple factions that were, like uh you know helping to like remake the entire world again. So and this one must be the good version of what Hades could have been or something. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. I see. But too bad it's just a robot, though. I probably should tell her that she was just talking to a machine, but uh, that might crush her spirit. Yep, Alcosta, that's heartless, even for me. I wouldn't put it past you to say something like that, Blondie. At least to me. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Alright. So, about the daemon. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. Hmm. Like, I keep hearing that there's like a weird force that's like taking over machines and such. And I, I, there wasn't a name for it yet. Like, there was a hint of like something going on beyond the Feral Plague or something. Like, something's causing, like, I think it happened to Gaia too. Like, some unknown force took her over. I don't think it was the Feral Plague, but it could be something else, but I don't know what it is. They haven't named it yet. The last time? What kept you from the spirit? After it begged for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You returned? You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. A gate? Huh. Did someone build it there? Someone place it there? That gate I saw beforehand, right? Crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Ah, I see. So about Silence, the douche. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? That man before, he's kind of an asshole. He's done some terrible things. 
But he's also helped me when no one else could. Hey, he's about to do something terrible! Trust me, guys, you'll know later once we get to the finale! I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. Right, right, right! Want me to help you? Better tell me about silence! But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. God dang it! Great! Okay, anything else? About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. All right then, let's go to Thunderstrom. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's drum. So, why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We Cause you'll die, of course! Can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Well, I was just there like a while ago, so I don't know what the fuck this is about. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. Oh, I swear to God, if you ask me to like, fight a Thunderjaw, a Stormbird, and one of those like, stupid Thunderjaws and shit, God dang it, I swear to God, if you ask me to do that shit again! An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? Well, I do, but I, I don't really care that much about you guys. I'm starting to realize why Silas hated you guys so much. You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. Then just go there yourself. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Yeah, this is so bullshit. What the fuck, man? More stupid... This isn't even a side quest anymore. This is just a main quest, and it's just make me do people's stupid shit again. Fuck! Yeah, no, man. They like they really like to work you to the bone. Well, at least you're helping people. There's no reason to be complaining about it now. No, oh, come on, Daddy. I, I just hate this so much, man. Oh, I just want to go home and I like, drink my uh, machine coffee. Fuck sakes. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirax attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Okay, I'm done. No, I'm out. I'm out. Done with this shit. No, nope, I'm, I'm not doing the stupid hunter's grounds. Fuck that shit. I'm out of here. Nope. Fuck that. Time to go back to the Corgi Lands and like kill Hades and end this fucking game at long last. God, I can't believe I'm forced to do the stupid hunter's lodge. Fuck. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Okay, just choose one of three. Or do I have to do all three? If I have to do all three, I'm gonna get angry. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Hope so. Okay, anything else? Anyway, I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. Ah, okay. Uh, question is about the challenge. Uh, the hunter's the hunter grounds. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warwick. Oh, there are like five of them, like in the other lands. Does that count? Nope. Not at all. It's gotta be in our lands now. You gotta do those hunter's crowns, bitch. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. 
place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. And frustrate the living hell out of Jurami Theory and the Let's Player and all that. You know? Stuff like that. Gray, Gray, you do realize you're also frustrating me, right? Because I'm the one being controlled by him? Yes, I know, dear. Yes, I know. Tell Lovuk, the Keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. Great. Fucking great. Uh, bandits? You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banaur to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Osiram has equipped a gang in the Plumelands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. Really now? Huh. So, still so, Sekuli. You mentioned your friend, Sekuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Oh, I already like, met them. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. Alright then. In Aratok. How's Aratok gonna react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Right then. I'll see you later. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Alright, let's see if this, uh... Take the Storm Slinger. But do the Storm Slinger. This weapon that Araya gave me. Varg will want to have a look at it. Ah, I see. So that's what he was talking about. Uh, let's see what this, like, thing is. Uh... Do I have it? I think I do. Oh, there it is. Storm Slinger Weapon Box. What does this baby do? A Storm Slinger. This weapon fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. I see. Let me see what this does. For the Warrick. Okay, yeah, I know. Let me see what this does. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. That's actually an... It might be an accurate version of the shock arrows. Oh, so cool! Oh my god! I'm literally shooting lightning bolts! I hope this isn't... It, oh my god, I just reloaded like a gun too. This is so cool! Oh my god! Thank you so much! I love this! Love it so much! Okay, so let's just reload. Oh my god, so I'm really limited on what I can use to like get the ammo. All right, let me like uh, attach some like a uh, you know modifications to it then. So it's like a lightning bolt, right? So let's see, shock. Seems to be only for shock though. It doesn't do really any like a uh, piercing damage. I don't think. Nope, no tear. Just shock. Just pure shock. Hey, well then, I think it like increase this thing too. Alrighty, I did everything in this area now. How do I leave? I have to go back the way I came. Really? Really? Got to go back the way I came? Guess so. Or I could just leave. I don't know. Is there a shortcut here? Let me check. I think there's a shortcut there. Right? Something along this path. Wait a minute, could it have just gone this way? Oh, never mind. I guess I couldn't have gone this way. Is there a machine down there? Nope, okay. Wait, no, could I have gone this way?
Where does this lead, I wonder? This path here. This particular path and everything. Ah, I see. So that's why this area was so oddly, you know, to the left and everything. There was something here. Oh my god, tramplers. Tramplers! And this is a Thunderjaw area too. There's the Thunderjaw. Can I get close to it? Easier when I was a kid. Demonic Thunderjaw. Ooh. Scary, scary, scary. So scary. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I, w I went from here all the way over to here. I didn't even realize that. Ah, shit, I'm not even at a save point anywhere. That's not good. Or there's a save area anywhere nearby. I don't think so. No, oh, well, that's fine. I'm gonna, like, uh, go the uh, old-fashioned way. Just, like, make my way up there. Up to that area and everything. Anyways, guys, I think that's the perfect time to end this episode off. Man, oh, man, it feels like it's been a while since I played this game. All we did was just, like, walk through the ruins and everything. Yeah, that's basically all we did. And now we gotta do so many things now. We gotta do a bandit area. Then we gotta help out uh, the uh, pigments and everything. Gotta collect all of them. Then I have to go to the hunter's ground. And I'm not fucking ready for that because I hate them so fucking much. And yeah, we're taking a slow time to, like, you know, get through all this region. I think I'm gonna, like, uh, have it done with maybe two to three episodes at most now. I think. I don't know anymore. But yeah, I'm really glad I'm back into this game again. I don't know when the next episode will be out now, because, you know, I gotta do Scarlet Nexus and Ease 9. But hey, slow and steady wins the race. Or in this case, slow and steady wins the let's play. Not sure what I was going for with that, you know, figure of speech, but hey, better than nothing. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I promise you guys that this area will be around for the next episode. Until then guys, fare thee well.